Now let's get back to the rest of the income statement. So right below operating income, we have other income expense net. This is where we capture everything that is not directly involved in the operations of the business. Also, when you see a line item like this that seems rather vague and you want to know more, you can search the report for the footnote that explains it. In this example, a simple keyword search in the PDF takes us to a note that shows us that this line item is mainly made up of interest and dividend income from investments that the company made and also interest expense from the debt that the company had. Besides a description, it also provides a table that gives you the breakout. Here's another tip. Most people won't bother reading the footnotes, but similar to the advice we've heard before, don't forget to read the fine print, you'll be amazed what you can find and learn about the company in some of these footnotes and the explanations about business operations. It's as simple as searching the PDF to find out more information. The next line is income before provision for income taxes. That just means how much pre-tax income did we make? Apple made $72,902,000,000. Then in the next line, we take out taxes and some quick division can tell you that the effective tax rate for Apple is about 18%. This is just taking provision for income taxes and dividing it by income before taxes. After subtracting taxes, we finally reach the bottom line, also known as net income, or sometimes called net earnings or net profit. The bottom line answers the question, did we make money or lose money and how much? Apple made 